very small Shein haul, and I got a new pair of cool ass shoes from Timu. Now, I know there's a lot of controversy about Shein. Um, I don't understand why people think that's something new because it's been going on for a long time, just like Fashion Nova and all these other companies. Um, it is kind of like a crummy situation. It is a rock and a hard place. Um, not because of uh, influencer reasons, because I don't consider myself really an influencer, but I do think on one hand, like, isn't that um, a problem from the Chinese um, government? And also, if we were to stop by in Xi'an, wouldn't they go out of business? Like, where are those people going to have their jobs? Now, with the fabric, I do understand that. I don't know much about how things disintegrate and, and all that stuff. So, yeah, I'm kind of on edge with all of it. Nonetheless, I still need clothes to wear. And I can't, you know, with everything, the price is going up. I just can't afford that much. And my sizes do change. They fluctuate because I'm, like, over 40. I'm almost 50. So, here we're going to go with the haul, okay? First, I got this black shirt, and I also got it in green, and I did wash it, um, because, you know, some of the stuff that's in the fabric, I like to just wash it first, and sometimes they smell bad. Mine's, my stuff has never smelled bad, um, except for from Timo, I did have a dress that smelled like, ooh, fishy, fishy, but, um, the, the odor did go away after I washed it, and so I'm wearing some just black flares, which I got from Room 21. But I got this, I got this one, and it's in green. It's kind of like a crop top with like these sleeves. And um, so, yeah, I'll show you what it looks Here's like. Here's the crop top. I did pull up the sleeves a little, because I mean, you can wear them like this. And it's got like a nice collar. And uh, I think it's cool because it's not totally cropped. It's like, you know, just a little, just a little bit. And uh, it has kind of like a scoop here. And, um, uh, yeah, I think these were $5. I ordered a, lar a large, here in the U.S. I wear like a small or extra small. I'm 5'3 and 115 pounds, if that helps you out a little bit. But, um, yeah, this was, uh, I think, $6, and I had to order a large. And the large fits just fine. Actually, all the shirts I'm going to show, I ordered in the large. So you gotta watch out with the measurements. Next up, I got like this multi-chrome looking kind of shirt. It's like blue, black, orange. Um, we can argue about this, but to me it's the fall already, even though it's the end of June. In just a few days, Bath and Body Works is gonna have their shit, and so is Halloween. Spirit Halloween's gonna be opening up in our, our town, and I so can't wait. Um, and so this is a see-through mesh shirt. I have a black bra underneath it. I'm going to be wearing a black bra with all the items because I just, I'm not in the mood to switch them all up over and over and over. Um, I'm basically just showing you what it, but you can't see it. I don't think you can see it. Can you guys see it? I can't see it. Oh yeah, you can just right here. See that? But, um, I think the color deflects from it. Nonetheless, I will wear a different top one. And this was a size large. This was eight bucks. I really like the color shifting from it. And um, yeah. Okay, so here is the next shirt. I, I don't know why I thought this was cool. Um, and it's not see-through, except for right here. There's a tiny little mesh, this little triangle piece, which is not a big deal. I'm not really a fan of turtlenecks, but this one is very loose. The other one with the last shirt was very loose too. I could, if I wanted to, sew it like this or just tuck it in. But I, I don't know. Which one do you which way do you think is better? Like this? Or like this? Okay, so the next one is a full length dress. Um it looks, I swear, it's so freaking pretty. Now, I, I'm alone at home, so I cannot zip up the back, but you'll get the gist of it. I think it was $26. Um, for me, that's kind of pricey, because I don't buy brand shit. Like, uh, even with makeup, I might buy one or two things and do it on Afterpay, but um, I did this order on Afterpay. So I know for some people, it's like pennies. For me, it's a lot of money. 
Um, but I'm going on vacation this year. I hope it still fits when I go. I've only got one month to go, y'all. Actually, two months to go before I go on vacation. But I am definitely wearing this. It is a little long. And you can wear wedges. But it's just got an overall very nice fit um, when I tried it on that last uh, when I got it. But I'm, you'll get the gist of what it looks like. In the back, there's no special cut or anything, but the front is. So just give me a second and I'll show you the dress. Before I show you the dress, I'm going to show you these badass shoes I got from Timu. These were $26. I had gotten the champagne color ones. And um, I actually wanted these originally and they were out of stock. So I did get the champagne color ones. Um, but these came back in stock and the champagne color ones was a six and a half. They were too big for me. Uh, my friend, J Girl, we're doing like a, a swap. And so she's got some really cool shoes for me and I'm gonna give her the champagne shoes. Uh, now, I'm, I wouldn't wear them personally with the flares. I mean, they're still cute. Um, they're easy to walk in. They're not, I mean, they're not comfortable. I've got some sizing pads that I ordered. I'm going to be sticking them in the back. and um, But I'm going to be wearing them with uh, like gray skinny jeans with a ripped up t-shirt. And I think that the shoes should be like, boom, you know, in the center of the attention. So that'll be really, really good. I'm watching Beetlejuice over there. Anyways, let me get the dress on. This is the dress. And because I don't have my husband here to, uh, I love this cut. Um, and I could actually wear it without the bra, which I probably will. Um, but I think it has a really nice cut. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of like, I've got these pieces. The back is full though. And um, it is a little long, so I'm just I'm just gonna wear me some plateaus like these. I got these from Bell's Outlet. Uh, actually, my husband got them for me because I was complaining about straps. I just wanted shoes I could slip on, and it has such a very nice flow. This was really really worth the money. It kind of reminds me of some kind of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. But when I go out for dinner. Or if we go for a stroll on the beach, that's this is what it's going to be. I know it might get sand and shit all over it, but it ain't going to ruin it. But um, this was the only item I haven't washed yet. Uh, but I have to say, it does not smell any kind of way. It didn't smell when I packed it out. Um, this is like one of the best quality ones. And this was a size medium because there were a lot of people who bought them and they're, I read in the reviews because I was really insecure about paying something. And, um, with like, that's almost 30 bucks and having to return it, you know, so um, uh, the reviews are really great, and uh, they have it in a blue, and I believe they have it in like in a pink, but this hair was, uh, I just kind of wanted to go basic, I think that's what the hair goes good, I don't know, Fixin changed my hair too, but anyways guys, tell me what you think, please don't judge me about this Shein um, situation that's going on, um, I'm just kind of torn, like, what to do. What do you do? you still order Shein? Do you still order Timu? I know I've got a shitload of stuff coming from Timu. I've got Christmas presents and all that shit coming from Timu. And some stickers and all this stuff. But tell me what you think. Like, what's your honest opinion? Are you still going to buy? Um, anyways, let me know in the comments. And uh, what, did, what, what, what item did you like the most? And... Uh, See you in the next video. Let's do